Don't don't point point out when you like get to those orange things. How's it going? No, it's going well. Uh, I just out here. Uh, you know, just expecting a delivery actually. My graphics card's supposed to be on the way. Who's that? What? Who's that? It's, it's here? It's here. Oh my gosh, it's here. <laughs> it's here. Let's go. UVS guy. All right. Let's get it. Oh, Luke, do you got it? You have it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Luke's got mine. All right, get cut into that. All right, let's, let's get this out of here. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Can you just shake? Okay, this is going a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Ooh, babe, we're gonna need to get some cinematic shots of this. Be. Uh, oh, it's going. Then I had to try to find a driver for the graphics card for about uh, an hour and a half because I didn't even know what model the graphics card was and Auto Detect wasn't working on NVIDIA's website because they didn't know what kind of graphics card it was either probably because it was in 2006 and it's Windows 10 now. So then eventually I ended up posting a picture on Reddit uh, and some random guy responded like four hours later that knew the exact model of the card obviously because who wouldn't. And uh, so then I found the driver for it and then downloaded it and then finally it worked and we were ready to play some games. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what you all came for, the benchmarks. As in any good Linus Tech Tips video, we have to benchmark the graphics card that we're reviewing. Uh, so let's see here, Portal 2, we got a solid 40 FPS on relatively high settings, which is actually amazing because I think this card is from uh, NVIDIA Quadro. Um, it's really hard to find what year this was released in. It's like almost like they don't want you to know. Uh, 2006 is looks like yeah 2006 so for a card that was released around 2006 making it over 10 years old portal 2 around 40 fps and relatively high settings is amazing temperatures around 60 to 65 degrees celsius which is pretty cold colder than my cards anyway uh sometimes though it would go to 25 fps or somewhere around there if you get got by like a laser or something and then sometimes when you're around non-resource intensive objects 70 fps um so that was again relatively high settings pretty amazing um I think Portal 2 is just really, really well optimized. CSGO, um, that was like 10 FPS on high, pretty much unplayable. I even had a CSGO professional, uh, Luke, playing for me, and he, he could only get a few kills. So it was pretty much unplayable. Didn't even load skins, so I don't know how he even got sk kills with, uh, without skins. That's borderline impossible for most players. Uh, so then we turned the settings all the way down to low, and it actually was playable. Uh, it was around like 30 to 40 FPS on really low settings, which is like barely playable. Um, once you've got a taste of a game like that in 144 FPS, though, 30, 40 FPS is just unplayable. Temperature is still like 65 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. Pretty pretty cold, but the fan, though, was really loud. We'll get more on that later. 
TF2, uh, another game that actually ran. Uh, we could only play p older games uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, on high settings, it was like 20 to 35 FPS, about 30 average. Barely playable again. I got a kill though, so I guess it's kind of playable. Um, on low settings, I bumped it way down to low because that before that was really on high settings, 20 to 35 FPS on high, and then low. It didn't really change that much. It, it like CS:GO changed a bunch when we put it on low settings. TF2 was like you put it on low and it got like a five FPS increase. I put all the settings to low and just only five FPS. So we were looking at like 35 to 40 FPS on low. Still like barely playable. I was not enjoying myself. Eventually it crashed, and I'm gonna just have to assume that that had something to do with the graphics card being from 2006. Um, and it, plus also it's a workstation card, I might add that, and it's not meant for necessarily playing games on, you know, but uh, that's that's something else entirely. It should still, theoretically, workstation cards should be able to play games, as we learned from Linus Tech Tips in one of his videos. Um, at <clears throat> so, Portal 2, CSGO, TF2, those technically ran. As for the no-go's, uh, Witcher 3, uh, I was expecting that to be a, a great performing game, but uh, that was a no-go, unfortunately, just not even going to launch. Um, Skyrim, I thought Skyrim would actually launch just because of how old it is, but even Skyrim didn't launch, which was pretty interesting. Uh, Fallout 4, that was a no-go, that failed as well. And Rocket League, which wasn't, isn't that, it's one of the lighter games on the list, and it still didn't launch, so I was surprised by that. So the modern games, I guess, even Skyrim doesn't don't launch, uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I maybe I think I turned my mods off when I played Skyrim, so still didn't launch. Uh, and th that that there's the benchmarks. All right, what is the takeaway? I'm pretty sure all the games that could have that were played in, in the video that it could actually launch played that like you saw. Pretty sure those could have all been played with halfway decent integrated graphics anyway. So the Quadro 3500 is somewhere on par with integrated graphics as far as games are concerned however i'm pretty sure with a decent modern-ish integrated graphics the later games would have actually launched but what's interesting is that when the like half of the games crashed they didn't just outright say anything about not meeting the minimum requirements they just didn't launch and found just just crashed causing their message before I even booting in so that's kind of interesting but uh nothing about this card is really that interesting uh part of it probably has something to do with the fact that we had to use a windows 7 driver to get the card working because nvidia hasn't officially released a windows 10 driver for the quadro uh fx 3500 and they probably will never do that <clears throat> so a little bit of a sketchy benchmarks I, since the Steam Summer Sale is going on, I felt inclined to finally buy the full 3D Mark benchmarking, only to realize that this graphic card wasn't even going to run any form of the 3D Mark benchmarks, not even the lowest. So that was a little disappointing. So just all around a kind of questionable performance from the graphics card uh, in, the, in the benchmarking gauntlet all around. But what's really going to be interesting is uh, the, the durability test. Uh, that's where it gets real interesting because... Uh, as for our mouse pad video that we did way back when, we kind of established a precedent when whenever we, we review a product, we gotta do a durability test. Amazing. So what do you think, durability test? Okay. It definitely withstood the durability test. I'd probably give this mouse pad a 10 out of 10. So, uh, tomorrow, uh, stay tuned. A durability test video coming out. Uh, it's gonna be great. Don't 